Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome back to the channel. Time for a little pond update. Run the intro. Right, now I didn't film this bit because really this is my wife's little project. She wanted to do it, doesn't like being on film. Um, and I just helped her with it. But just gonna sh give you a quick look around um, and show you what we did around the pond. All right, all we did at first is we did put a little bit of extra mud, oops, knocking the stones in. We tucked a bit of extra mud under the, um, under the sheet here just to raise the back of it up so we get more in which did fill the shoreline up a bit more above the stones obviously we just had about a week or so of like glorious weather so the water level has dropped quite a bit you could probably see the tide lines over there and then we literally just we put some earth up around the edges got a bag of stones um, different kinds which I shall show you. Right, so we went to, we did go to B&Q and they had some sort of split bags of stones. Uh, we got mixed brown Cornish. They're the, um, they're the smaller ones, I think, are they? No, they're the bigger ones. Uh, the pastel pink decorative stones were the smaller ones. And what are these? Yeah, I'll read it down the side and rainbow decorative pebbles. They were quite larger. Because the bags are split open, they're usually sort of 10 to 15 pound each, but this one here was the brown cobblers, I think. Brown Cornish. Yeah, this one's the brown Cornish. So that bag was only seven pound, because it's just not quite a full bag. And pastel pinks, which are the smaller stones, were seven pounds. And then the larger stones, which were like the rainbows, they called the rainbow pebbles yeah the rainbow pebbles that bag was 10 pound so get rid of them so all the bigger pebbles are in the bag of like 10 pounds ones which we sort of randomly scattered around the edge all these smaller stones were the um the pink pastels and then i think these were the ones these color stones was like the um were they the brown cobbler can't remember now yeah, ones like that, I think this was a rainbow stone. I think these were the brown cobblers, those type of ones. And that was a rainbow, that was a rainbow. And these were all the pink pastel. So we'll probably get a few more bags to scatter around the edge. Um, and then we just literally, the plants are looking a bit limp because of the, because of the sunny weather we've had. Yes, yeah, so we just round, went round, putting some plants around the edges. And then we've got fern trees growing everywhere around the place, so we've just put some ferns down there. Some other little colourful flowers, little logs. And then in the pond we've got a couple of lily plants down there. We've got some aerating plants. This was a log that you saw us um, put in there originally. Uh, this was just a log in the garden that we've strung across and just basically put some other plants in the middle. Uh, this big one here, that big one along there, that came as like one full set of planters. That was about 20 quid for the whole lot. And you know, just one of the plants alone, that was charging sort of 13, 15 pounds just for one of them. So to get like three or four different plants in there, it was quite good for 20 quid. Um, we have got a solar power pump in there that's not working at the moment. We have the solar panel that is over here for it, but because there's not enough sun at the minute, it's not turning on. But that usually is on with the sun a few hours a day. Um, and then this is a little, this is a little frog house. It's just made up of logs and twigs. And if frogs come along, they can go off and live in there. And if you see our honeybee videos, 
you can see we've got a couple of honeybees that are drinking in there. After a couple of days, this pond was like full of life. It didn't take long for all the, all the wildlife to move in here. And the flowers in there. It's all starting to flower already. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, it needs topping up. I need to remove some of the leaves that are in there. We've got a crab apple tree here that's shedding its leaves already at the beginning of June. But that's about it. That is the pond pretty much done. Apart from a few more stones and plan around, we're just going to do with the edges. But you know, you could do any design that you like to this. You don't have to copy ours. You can make it any shape. Put anything you want around there. All the plants cost far more than what the 20 pound pond liner did and the work doing it. Uh, we've probably spent about 25 quid on the stones. The pump was 30 pounds. Uh, you got 20 odd quid for the plants at the back. Oh, I'm treading on this one down here. Oop. Yeah, there's probably sort of another 10, 20 pound on the other plants that are around there. So, I mean, it's ended up costing quite a bit, but you don't have to go at that effort. You can just design it however you like. So I hope you enjoyed watching this little quick update. Please give us a like, uh, subscribe, share with your friends. Get on and do your own little pond in your garden. And thanks for watching. And I shall leave you with some time lapses of all the little, all the little bugs in the action going along. I'll see you next time. <laughs>